I'm interested because you're a prominent teacher in your, in your own right, and you're already accomplished, and yet you're deciding to come to Wisdom University as a PhD student. How'd that happen? How'd that happen? Okay. I've, I always wanted to go back to school, so I have a, a degree from the University of California at Davis, and for years after I graduated, I would search of like, is there a program out there that would really inspire me? Mm -hmm. And I had an individual major when I was in college, so I was kind of spoiled, because I got to write my own major. I'm a really creative person. And then I spent my life then creating community, creating a business, mm -hmm. creating a spiritual um, community, and it was, just everything I did, I loved. I was in joy. And so I'd go to some programs and I'd look at them and I'd be like, that looks good, that, mm, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm not interested in that. I could do that. So it never, there was never a fit mm -hmm. until I found out about wisdom. And mm -hmm. going onto the website and starting to explore, I remember this, this feeling of like, oh, yes, I want to take that. And <laughs> oh, I def, oh, that would be really good. <laughs> and there wasn't any place where I had a contraction or I had a, mm, I'm not interested. Everything just opened me. Mm -hmm. And also meeting the community, that was also a big piece of it mm -hmm. as well, is that especially as a teacher and as a, a leader, what I found is that being holding a container for a lot of other people mm -hmm. is a, just such a wonderful gift, and yet sometimes it's hard to remember to put that down and do something just for ourselves, mm -hmm. and also then to connect with other people that are also in leadership capacity or that are serious on their spiritual path. Right. that are from different traditions. So coming back to, oh, I get to, I get to talk with a bunch of different people that are doing really different things was very exciting as well. Yeah. Well, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had Angelus Arian and Stan Groff and Stanley Krippner, and several of us were sitting around, and someone said, you know, this feels like Esalen used to feel. Yes. And that maybe Wisdom University would be the Esalen of the 21st century. But I think in a way it's more than that because people like you and these people I just mentioned, faculty and students, are being attracted yes. to this vortex of energy that, that is incredible and it's such a privilege to be a part of it. It really is. Yeah. And I love that it's, it's about wisdom. It's not about any particular tradition. It's right. about what's at the core of everything. And that's something that is easy to be magnetized to. Yeah, and one one point that I would like to make is that is that students like you and potential students like uh, the folks that might be watching this uh, are an integral part, and you can be full of your own power yes. and full of your own strength and contribute to the co-creation of this endeavor. Yes, and be really supported in whatever it is that you're doing as well. So it's such a beautiful synergy in so many ways. Good. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>